Welcome to Learn the Sword. To continue with the tones and different whistles of the sword, let's look at a different weapon. And that one is a shinken. So if I come over here and grab a shinken, and a shinken is a, a steel sword that has a sharp edge on it, but you notice that this doesn't have a bohi to it. A bohi to a shinken is pretty good, but personally, I don't like a bohi on a shinken because when I cut, I want to make the cut, make sure the cut is true. And sometimes with a bohi on the back, it sort of adds like a little rudder and it doesn't let the sword cut through as well. It's just that I follow what my teacher said. He goes, you have bohi on iaito all day long, on your shinken, no bohi. So I followed that. Nevertheless, if I come on down here with, with the shinken and I swing it down slow, you can hear slight tone. And if I put a little bit more speed into it, you can hear it a few times. The tone is a little different, isn't it? Hear how high it is. Because now this is real steel cutting through air. Where the bohi, if I had a bohi on this, it'd be much more predominant. So if I come over here without the bohi, if I had a bohi, you'd really notice the difference. But nevertheless, you can hear it much better than I can. Now, let's go to a slightly different sword. This one here is a kodachi or a wakizashi. Now, this one is an old beat up blade, but nevertheless, it feels really good. Also, it's very light and it creates its own tones. With short swords like this or long swords, it's all dependent on the tone. So if you find a short one and get one exactly the same, the tone might not be the same. So, you hear the difference? So it's a little bit more abrupt because it is a shorter sword. So if you are working out with shorter swords and you find out that this isn't making as much noises, make sure the angle of the blade is cutting correct. Adjust it in with your hands. If you're still having a hard time like taking this one and cutting and coming over to your left hand and cutting and it doesn't sound the same, just go back and forth and back and forth until that hand fits in perfectly. Remember, when you use a short sword, it's like throwing a baseball. With your right hand, you can throw it pretty well, but when it comes to your left hand, it just isn't good enough. But with practice, you'll be able to throw with your left hand pretty well. Same thing with a sword. Make sure that you're ambidextrous and you can go from one side to another. Now, let's go over and find a sword that is a really nice loud one so it makes you feel good when you hear it sing through the air. The problem with most swords that sing really, really loud are the cheap flimsy ones. This is a 780 gram sword. It is cheap, it's sloppy, it's beat up. Look at the handle, everything on that. But the coolest thing about this is it's the, one of the better whistling swords I came across. I didn't know how I got it. It just ended up in my bag, it feels like. But if I lift it above my head, oh, Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, when you start taking a sword like this and you find one, now remember, I'll say it again, if I found the exact same model, it might not whistle the same, but I was just very lucky. So when I test or I work with students who are learning to throw out, cast out the sword correctly, I let them use this one. A little bit self-confidence too, because they can swing out there and get it right. But listen to it, listen to it. So, remember, the most important aspect of using the sword that uses a bohi is how many repetition can you get before the sound starts changing, your tone changes. And that's the most important factor about this whole thing. Why does it have this? Because at the end of the day, this is what you're going to be doing. People start stroking down and they're doing good. But after about eight or 10 times, your hands naturally get tired and the tone goes from this to this. 
And that's because fatigue. Remember, if you wring it out, put a little bit more elbow grease into it, and keep casting. Because if you can cast out and make it sing or tone beautifully for 25 or 30 casts, you're on your way to a good, strong foundation where every cut is pretty consistent.